A boy and his dad. A boy and his dad on a fishing trip. There is a glorious fellowship. Father and son and the open sky and the white clouds lazily drifting by and the laughing stream as it runs along with the clicking reel like a martial song and the father teaching the youngster gay how to land a fish in the sportsman's way. I fancy I hear them talking there in an open boat, and the speech is fair, and the boy is learning the ways of men from the finest man in his youthful ken. Kings to the youngster cannot compare with the gentle father who's with him there, and the greatest mind of the human race not for one minute could take his place. Which is happier, man or boy, the soul of the father is steeped in joy, for he's finding out to his heart's delight that his son is fit for the future fight. He is learning the glorious depths of him and the thoughts he thinks and his every whim, and he shall discover when night comes on how close he has grown to his little son. A boy and his dad on a fishing trip, oh, I envy them and I see them there, under the sky in the open air, for out of the old, old long ago come the summer days that I used to know, when I learned life's truths from my father's lips, as I shared the joy of his fishing trips, builders of life's companionship. Now, joy and gay are, of course, um, synonymous in this um, poem and you know nowadays we wouldn't use that word and nowadays some of these other poems um, people would say you know things about some of the words so that's that's why I've um, have made some of the comments but the father stage of development as it's called, is the rules and the skills. So the uh, take the kid along, you know, tr train them as a mechanic or a fisher or whatever is key to that stage.